Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations. Please excuse my voice today. I have come down with a little bit of a cold or something or other. Um, we had winter break for two weeks and then we went back on Monday the 4th. <coughs> and my throat started hurting after like, even on Monday. And then on Tuesday I hurt a little bit more. I, I thought it was just because I wasn't used to talking all day because you know when you're a teacher you talk all day long um so I thought maybe my throat was just getting dry from talking all day um and then by Thursday I actually felt like crap I was not feeling good at all I was exhausted all week and I couldn't sleep and I just I, I wasn't feeling good at all and then <coughs> um this morning I woke up and I like couldn't talk at all so yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm coming down with something. But I wanted to go ahead and share this with you because it came in today. Um, it's Saturday, January 9th, I believe. Um, the, yeah, it's the 9th. Um, and I placed an order from My Hero Arts for their monthly, um, My Monthly Hero Kit. And they had a whole ton of issues on release day. Their site wasn't working properly at all. People were trying to order, and it was saying that it wasn't going through, so people were ordering again. And there were people who had, like, four or five orders of the same exact thing on their, like, showing up on their chart credit statement and stuff. And Hero Arts has been working really hard to get all the, you know, sort through all that and, um, get rid of the duplicate orders. And, um, I, I did have a little bit of an issue when I ordered, but it wasn't, like, a huge deal. I place the order and they said that it didn't go through and then I placed the order again and there were, there were issues my card wasn't going through and so I looked at my I looked at my bank statement and I'm like oh well I already got charged for one so I just went in and I canceled the other order and it, it hadn't actually like processed at all it never actually went through but the first one actually did go through so um <clears throat> I didn't really have a huge problem with them. I never got an email receipt confirmation. You know how all, you know companies always send you the email confirmation? I never got that. So I was wondering if they had actually gotten my order or not, but I got charged for it, so I assumed that it had gone through. Um, and then I got an email a couple days later. Um, so the kit released on Monday. I got an email on, I think, Thursday. No, I got an email on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday saying that it had shipped. So, um, and it arrived today. So I just wanted to go ahead and share with you. I've already played with it a bunch, and I love it. I think it's a super sweet kit. Um, but first of all, I wanted to share with you, um, because they had that issue with their site, and they've had people still worrying or wondering whether they got their kit or not, they sent this freebie in people's boxes. I don't know if they sent the same thing for everybody, but this is what I got. Um, and they have a little tag that says sorry. And I don't think these stamps are even available yet, you guys. I think these are part of their new um, new release this year that they're, that they're showing off at CHA. Because I've been looking through Instagram and everybody's posts and everything, and I saw a picture that someone had posted. I think it was maybe San Sandy Elnock, maybe, or Simon Says Stamp. I don't know who. Um, had posted a picture, and this stamp was in there. And so I'm wondering if these are their new stamps. And it does say... Um, 2016 on it. So if you look, I don't know if the fuck it is. Here, it's 2016. So I don't even think these are available yet. I think they're sending out new stamps to people. And I think that's, um, very sweet and very generous of the company to do that. And they didn't have to. And again, I didn't even really have that many problems. So, um, the fact that they did that, um, you know, for all their customers. And think about how much money, you know, a wood stamp is. And they sent two of them here. So, um, I really appreciate that. I think, um, Hero Arts has really great customer service. So that was really sweet of them. So this one is, um... Mum stem, and this one is handwritten thank you. I love this thank you right here. I love it. I'll probably be using that a lot. Um, I don't have a lot of wooden stamps, so I'm not sure where I'm gonna store these. But um, again, very generous of the company to send those out to the people who had issues with the the kit. Um, so then here's the kit. It came really wrapped up really cutely. So it had this bow around it. It was like all wrapped nicely. I already opened it of course oh and they also sent this little heart with the little clothespin I love this oops but don't break my little clothespin um with this little clothespin on it which is cute too um so you can use that in your cards as well <coughs> but anyway so the card came the kit came wrapped really cute um it's a really sweet kit there's a lot of nice things in here so um I'll start with this little packet you do get two inks 
in this kit. And I think the blog post said that these inks were um, made specifically for this kit. That I think there were new inks. Now this pink is not showing up very well at all on the camera. There we go, there. There's like what the true color of the pink is there, right there. Um, so like this, it looks very pale. But this is this is actually the color that it is right here. You can see it's a little bit darker. It's kind of like um, Regal Rose almost from Stampin' Up! I want to say. Um, but it's a very pretty color. And then this... Um, this red color is very pretty. It's very dark. It's a lot darker than I thought it was. So, <coughs> um, I actually was making cards and I sponged them out. So this is what the pink looks like. So there's the pink and there's the red. Very pretty. Um, yeah. I didn't actually use what I was doing with this, but there you go. Those are the colors. So you get those two ink colors and then you do get a mix of um, Lucy's Things, or I'm um, saying so Little Things from Lucy's Cards, a sequin mix that she made just for this kit. It's called True Love, and it's got hearts and, um, little seed beads, or like little beads in there, <coughs> and some pink and, um, clear and red sequins. It's a very pretty mix, love it. And then you get eight pieces of these vellum sheets, and they have, um, dots on them. You can see that there. Very pretty. You get eight. I've already used one, so I only have seven. And then you get three different colors of cards of their of their cards. So you get two red ones, standard A2, A2 size cards. You get two of them, and then the matching envelopes. These envelopes are very cool. I like the little scallop on that. And then two white ones. And then you get two pink ones, but I've already used a pink one. <clears throat> and so those match their... They match the colors pretty well. So you can see they coordinate pretty well. <clears throat> and then you also get... Um, so your one, two, three, four, five, six sheets of this acetate here. Um, this is a good size, actually. It's... Five by five. So you get six sheets of five by five. So you can make shaker cards, because this is meant to make shaker cards, this kit right here. So that's what you get in that little baggie. And then you also get these dies. There's three dies in here and two stamp sets. I really like how this is laid out on here. So you get this one. And I tried to make a card with this die, and I didn't like the way that it came out. It was too busy, so I ended up changing it. But when you cut it... Um, it doesn't cut the heart outline, it just cuts these hearts and scores them, so you can fold them up. <coughs> and I threw them all out so I can't show you, but, um, it's very cool. It's one of their, like, paper layering type dies, so it doesn't cut all the way through and it just pops up. And then you have two dies here. So this one, um, doesn't cut out any of the outlines, it just cuts these little scallops right here and you pop them up. So, um, I did use that on this card right here. So you can see that all these little pieces pop up. So that's really cool. So there's that one. And then this one, you layer inside here and you cut out the inside of this. So you can make a shaker card. And you can see that it leaves an impression, so it's like embossing it at the same time, which is cool. <clears throat> so those are the dies. And then you get two stamp sets. And they're just, they're taped onto here, so you can just kind of like open them like a book and just like take off what you need and put it back. So I really like that. I think that's cool. But you have um, all these little candy hearts. You've got some open ones and you've got some um, filled in ones. And you have Be Mine, Me and I Love You, Hugs, Kisses, BFF, Only For My, and then XO. Um, so you have the ones, they're, all these are the same as these. Um, but then you have some blank ones that you can put the other things in. So you can match, mix and match them or whatever you want to do. And then over here, I love this. You make my heart flutter. That's my favorite. You are so incredibly awesome. I love you this much. For now and forever. Um, that one says, I love us, which is really cute. I'm yours and you're my world. So um, that's the kit. And then I got the coordinating, or the add-on die set for the kit. It says... Um, it cuts out Valentine and then three hearts that match the um, the three different heart sizes here. So 
you can see that they also kind of match some of those. So if you wanted to stamp these, you know, into the little hearts, you could. And then, <clears throat> since I was ordering, I thought I might as well go ahead and pick this up because this is really cool too. So this is called the um, paper layering heart, and that's what the layering dies look like. So you get one side, and then it cuts it out, and then you fold them over. <coughs> so you get a whole thing, and I did do that on a card as well. So I did it on this one. So I cut the heart. I blended the inks on the background, and then I cut the heart out, and I just folded it over, and I turned it into a shaker card as well. So you can see that. So there's that card. And then, I didn't quite show you guys this whole card, but here's this one, too. So I used the ink colors on this background here. And you can see I used, like, sparkle mist on it. Oh, you can't really see. I'm trying to get you to see it. I don't know, but there's that one. And then, um... So, th that's all I got. And there was another stamp set that I was going to get, but I, I didn't. Because I was like, mm, I don't really, I can't really spend the money. So, I didn't get it. But, um, so those are the three things that I got. And I think this is absolutely cool. And they're coming out with more of these um, in their new catalog, I think. And then, this is the last card I made using, using this die right here. And I originally just wanted all the hearts to pop up. But then, I had used the confetti stamp set in the background. And the hearts were getting lost. And so I think I might want to try this one again, but mask off the heart and just stamp the confetti around so that it doesn't get into the heart area. And then do the heart with the little popped up hearts um, and see how that works. But So I ended up changing my mind and this is what came out of it and I turned it into a shaker card as well. So I have um, three shaker cards now. And I like this one because I used um, some blue sequins too. There's some blue and the Lucy's cards in there as well. Um, and then I also combined it with the XOXO dye from Paper Tree Ink. And then there's the inside. <clears throat> and use some Doodle Bug and um, enamel dots. I'll have some videos and pictures um, coming out soon to show you how I did these cards. So um, if you're interested, keep an eye on my blog so you can see how I made these three cards from the kit. And I don't think the kit is available anymore. Um, I went to check just now and it said it was out of stock. Now, I know originally they had said that they weren't going to get more in once they were out of stock, but maybe because so many people wanted it, I don't know if they're going to get more in or not. Um, if I find out more, I'll let you guys know, but I thought it was a super cute kit and I had to have it. So, um, those are the cards I made. I really like the way that these two turned out. I think this one's kind of plain and boring. Um, but, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a shaker card, so it's still kind of fun, but, yeah. So... Those are the cards I made from that kit, so thank you guys for watching. Sorry again about my voice. Hopefully I should be feeling better in a couple days, so um, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!